How do you measure biodiversity? See, it's meant to be a measure of species richness, but there's no obvious unit for it. Ecologists in the UK have had to tackle this question for the biodiversity net gain policy that recently came in, and they've tackled it with a points system. So what scores? There are four things. First, size. The area of the field, the population of its animals, the length of the hedgerows, the length of its watercourses, all of this falls into size and population. Second is its distinctiveness. How rare is the habitat? The rarer the habitat, the more valuable it is. Third is the condition. How healthy is the habitat? The healthier the habitat, the higher the value. Fourth and final is its strategic significance. How much have humans deemed it to be important? If a local authority has designated the area for conservation, then bam, more points. So scoring all of these, how large the habitat is, how rare it is, how healthy it is, and how much humans are making a big deal out of it, we would then multiply these scores together to achieve a final total of biodiversity units. Ecologists would totally use a spreadsheet for this. Once you've got your score, you can then plan on how you're going to increase that score by 10%. So if I was developing a site with a baseline of 70 units, I would need to come up with a plan of how to get that number to 77 and have a biodiversity net gain. How would I do that? Well, check out the full video on YouTube.